welcome back to phase one foam where as always the hair might be fake but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions this is phase one my most advanced strife in my arsenal currently let's get right into the review what is this plaster trying to accomplish well it's a short dart only strife and i will explain that as the review goes on and it is made to be used in any type of game no matter the fps limit but first let's get into the design of a plaster so up the front there is an instruct barrel lug and then moving back, we have the paint job that has been done with a black rust -Oleum primer, a blue rust -Oleum base, and then weathering it on places like the grip, and a few other spots on here, and then topped off with rust -Oleum clear coat. All of those paints have been done with uh, three coats each. Uh, moving up here, we have the 3D printed name plates that say phase one on it. There's one right there and one right there, which both replace the name of the Strife. And with all that being said, guys, let's move on to the ergonomics. Now moving on to the ergonomics. Not much has changed, it's still at a standard Strife, but we have my 3D printed foregrip that has been constantly moved from Patriot to the Straven to now this blaster because it's such a good, nice, comfy grip, good place to put your hand. Moving on to functionality. This blaster is semi-automatic with a 21 amp micro switch with 16 gauge wiring. And one of the coolest things in this blaster is a swappable cage setup. Right now in here, I have a Tsunami cage with Thanar's Inferno Wheels V2, but I also have a Daybreak cage, which you guys will see later in the firing demo. Uh, along with that, up in the jam door, we have a voltmeter, which is really, really cool. When I go to rev this blaster, that's when the voltmeter is then activated and I'm able to check my voltage mid-game when I need to do that. All right, guys, we got phase one out here. We got worker, gen three, half like darts. Tsunami cage. Same cage, same darts, tactical nerf finger bang. Never gets old. Hi guys, we have phase one out here with the daybreak cage in here. So, worker gen three darts, uh, 18 and one grouping test on the gun, whatever the hell you want to call it then. And uh, I hope I can demonstrate how accurate this thing is, because it is fairly accurate. my final thoughts and opinions on phase one well it's great the blaster the performance is just freaking amazing on the tsunami cage i was getting 136 feet per second average with worker gen threes on the daybreak cage i was getting 180 feet per second average with worker gen threes another amazing part about this blaster is all the attachments that have been painted up to the color scheme of phase one and work with it there are three barrels three stocks and a single scope three grips i mean there are so many options and combinations i can do with this i it's just really cool and nice to have those kinds of options with it and honestly i can't wait to run this in more games throughout the year thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome you guys feel awesome if you guys like what i do here please consider subscribing it's free I always change your mind later and unsubscribe but subscribe stay safe god bless and remember as always hair might be fake but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions Phase up.